Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guides. This edition, editing the keyword match in the Lesson Activity Toolkit, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. In your gallery tab, which mine is here on the right, has the icon of the picture right here. Yours might be on the left, depending on if you have clicked this little arrow or not to move your tabs from one side to the other. So within the uh, gallery tab, you have your Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. So within the Lesson Activity Toolkit, the first folder underneath is the Activities. So you'll open that, and then down below is the Keyword Match. Okay. So we're going to click and open that folder. And when you open that folder, you're going to have down below your six choices. It's the same file, just six different colors. Lesson Activity Toolkit, Activities, Keyword Match, and then down below here are my six colors. So I'm just going to grab one. I can either grab it and drag it or double click on the file here and it will go into my page. I have my Auto Hide button checked here so when I click in the workspace, my tabs will go away. Now, the file here, right? If, if this was the only thing on the page, it's about the perfect size. But if I had a title up there, uh, it might not be. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then drag it down because I do have a title. You're going to have your words here on the left and then your description or your definition on the right, and then you're going to match them up. So we click edit. If you want to protect the file so students can't edit the one that you create, you can add a password to it. The solve button, that will put a button up there when the students are actually using it where they could click and it would solve it for them. Now you may or may not want that, so you can check it or uncheck it. So you'll type in your first word. And so these could be vocabulary, you know, from stories. It can be content vocabulary. So you enter your word, then your definition. Before I come out of here, you can also double click up and change these. So, I don't know, word's good for that one, but maybe you want to change description to definition. So, you, that's also an option. And it changes it here. So, now, when the students open up the page, they've got their list of words here, and you can put in up to eight and then they drag them to the boxes here. Feeling of deep sympathy for someone who is sad. And notice if it's too long, it also gives uh, a scroll box here. So you drag it over. Drag it over. And then there's the check button. And they're correct. If they're wrong, it'll have a red X. And they can go through and you know move them around again and check it again. Uh, if I reset it, solve button allows, you just click it and it puts them in the correct. So, you know, that's up to you whether you would decide whether you wanted that checked or not. So that's basically it. So now if I wanted to have, say if I had six groups, if I wanted six copies of this, I could go to my page sorter tab up here at the top. I can go to that page, there's a drop down menu there, and I have the clone page, Command D or Control D on a PC. And now I can just clone that page six times. Once I have it selected here in the, uh, the page sorter, it's a lot quicker for me if I just do the Command D or Control D. So each group can just go in now, go to the next page. They have a, a clean copy of it. They do it. Take the pen, write their name on it. 
next group comes up they go to the next page they have a clean copy of it so review you go to the gallery tab lesson activity toolkit the activities folder and the keyword match when you click on that folder you're gonna down below you'll get your six different colors click double click or drag one of them to the workspace click your edit button if you want to put a password you put one in there check or uncheck the solve button box and enter your text finally when you have everything done you click OK join us for our monthly Spurgvug meeting if you go to smartboardrevolution.ning.com you can find more information about the time date uh, content of the meeting there's also a link that you can go back and watch the recordings of all our previous meetings this has been Mac Ranger for the Smart Survival Guides. Thanks for watching.